Alright guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we got some good news, man. I am giddy, I am excited, I am pumped, I am energized. It seems as if Sony are actually getting serious about classics when it comes to the classics catalog for PlayStation 4 and 5. This week alone seems just like a bit of a classics blowout. I mean, we've recently had Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus release, as well as that the Kingdom Hearts games are coming to Steam, which is great. And we just recently got the announcement that Daxter is coming to the Classics catalog. Yes, that's right. The exclusive Jack and Daxter game for PSP. The in-between uh, title that took place between Jack 1 and Jack 2 uh, will finally be available on modern systems. Of course, we got the news a little while back that Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier, uh, which was also a PSP exclusive Jack game for a while, eventually came to PS2, uh, would be coming to the service. This was cool to know just for like people that want to play the lost frontier even though it is oh my god <laughs> i hate it but still another jack game is another jack game and that adds to the already existing jack games that are on the playstation store the confusing thing though was like why didn't you put Daxter on first? Like, that—that that is just absolutely the better game. Daxter is not developed by Naughty Dog. It was actually developed by Ready at Dawn. But even though it's not a Naughty Dog developed Jack and Daxter game, Daxter is still a fantastic time. It is a great title and it is absolutely must play. It explains what Daxter was doing uh, for that period of time when Jack and Daxter arrive in the future in Haven City before the time skip happens to begin Jack 2. If you haven't played this game on June 18th, which is when the game comes out, do yourself a favor and indulge in this experience. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for the other Jack and Daxter game that was developed by another studio, and that's The Lost Frontier, like I was saying. I HATE IT! That was developed by High Impact Games. These guys also went on to develop Ratchet & Clank Size Matters as well, so they kind of dipped their toes in two of the PlayStation mascots. I will say though that they definitely did a better job with Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. However, what this means is every single Jack & Daxter game is now playable on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. To be honest, I never thought I would actually see the day. I mean, in regards to looking at like Jack X and Daxter, and I mean especially The Last Frontier, mainly because no one gives a sh**. Those are sort of like the lesser known Jack titles. Looking at the trilogy, absolutely, I could imagine that moving forward after the PS3 era that eventually Sony would bring back the first three games onto PS4. And of course they did. Then we got that surprise that Jack X was also coming, so it was like, whew! All right, things are getting warm, things are getting cozy, things are getting steamy. Let's get forward to 2024 because the original four Jack and Daxter games came out what feels like a stone age ago. We get The Lost Frontier as well as Daxter. It's only gonna make me act up, man. I feel like I'm starting to get the conspiracy theory buzz going on. Are you putting all the Jack and Daxter games onto the PlayStation Store because you want to announce Jack 4 at some point? Is that your little plan there, Sony? Hmm? 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 Don't play with me. Is that what- is that the master play? Is that what you're doing?! As they say, fools can dream. Now, of course, this is a PlayStation Portable title, so it'll work just like all of the other currently available PlayStation Portable titles that are available as part of the Classics catalog. That means you get the up rendering, you get the rewind features, you get the screen filters, and of course, most importantly, trophy support. Now, I believe that not every single game that's part of the Classics catalog gets trophy support, but like, this is one of their heavy hitters, so like, yeah, without a doubt, trophy support will be there. If it was there for The Lost Frontier, it'll be here for Daxter. Now, the only thing is, I do hope this releases in a good state. When The Lost Frontier came out, there were some horrendous bloom issues. You would basically walk into the main hub and like, you, you were blinded by the bloom. There were major f***ing bloom issues. It was like walking out of Vault 101 and Fallout 3 for the first time. The meme from Spongebob where the fish's eyes are on fire? Yeah, that was the case here. Something to do with the PlayStation Portable emulator that the game was running on. Just made it look terrible. On top of that, horrendous, and I mean horrendous, frame drops as well. Sony did end up applying a patch to reduce the bloom issues as well as 
slightly tweak performance. So just saying, expect like some issues to be here present on day one. Yeah, I mean, likely it's probably not gonna be the definitive way to experience the games. Uh, still to this day, people claim that like, you know, the PlayStation 4 versions of Jack and Daxter are not that great. I mean, for me, I'm not really too bothered and I don't really agree with that like totally. I mean, I understand that the PS2 and PS3 versions of the Jack games are probably the better way to actually experience them. In case you guys don't know, there are some small issues with the Jack games, like the uh, limited directional input. This is actually an issue with like a lot of the classics games. On top of that too, there are some frame dips that happen, but I mean, for the most part, a pretty smooth sailing experience. I mean, the same can also be said for Sly that recently released. It also has those present issues as well. But the game is fine. It's, it's a fine way to be able to experience the game. And trophies, man. I mean, come on. Don't you love your digital collectible pixels on screen to be like, hey, you did this in the game. Wow, I feel so accomplished. The other thing you guys should know about is the classic PSP version of LEGO Star Wars 2 is coming to the classics lineup along with the PlayStation 2 game Ghost Hunter. These are also two classics that I know people have fond memories of. Even though we got LEGO Star Wars 2 technically within the Skywalker saga, it's still nice to have the classic version without all of the Skywalker saga sort of overhauls attached to it. I gotta say though, man, like, Sony have been on a bit of a roll here. Like, they, they definitely could do better. There is certainly room for improvement when it comes to selecting what games to put onto the classics catalog but still they've been on a bit of a roll in regards to bringing classics to the playstation store this has obviously started since the revamp to playstation plus with the multiple tiers and including uh, classics access to playstation plus premium members keeping in mind though too these classic games are also available to be purchased individually without a subscription. We know that like the classics scene was dead for a while, like hot dead after they announced that PlayStation 2 games would be coming to the PlayStation Store back in like 2016. They were doing all right there until like 2019 and then it just died. So now that they've picked back up, it seems as if more classics are on their way. And this gets me super excited to hopefully get those classic God of Wars, the PlayStation Portable ones, the PS2 ones, Along with that, Ratchet and Clank, what are you doing, Sony? Insomniac is your child now, you're still releasing Ratchet and Clank games, bring the classic games to the store, dude. There's a total of six Ratchet and Clank games, you got the four PlayStation 2 ones, one, two, three, and Deadlocked. Along with that, the PSP ones, Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank. We don't really care too much for Secret Agent Clank, that's the middle finger. That's how I feel about Secret Agent Clank. But yeah, Size Matters, yeah, I... I kind of like that one. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the crazy antics that are going on here. Check out my other garbage social media platforms. A huge thank you to my wonderful patrons. I appreciate the support. I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.